I'm back in Azure DevOps Server, go to my Wolf app, and if you go into the pipelines and edit this uh, my Wolf app ASP.NET pipeline, you can find that there are a few steps, and one of the step is publish to Amazon ECR. So here we are expecting an Amazon ECR repository with the name my Wolf app. The URL here may be different for you depending on which AWS uh, lab account that you are running this. So let's go there and then create this repository called my Wolf app in my AWS lab account. I'm in my AWS console. To go to Elastic Container Registry, type ECR. If you don't have any Elastic Container Registry, uh, you will get this uh, Getting Started Guide. You can create a repository by clicking here. Alternatively, uh, you can go to uh, the ECR section, click this button, go to repositories. As of now, you don't have any repositories, so let's create a new repository. The name of that uh, repository is going to be my Wolf app. Click Create Repository. So this create a repository and you will have a URI that you can use to publish your Docker images. If you want to know the commands to execute to publish a new image, you can click this view push commands button, which will give you a set of commands that you need to execute, A to log in into the repository, then what commands you can use to build the image, and then finally how you should tag your image and then publish into the Elastic Container Registry. So we already have this command set up in our pipeline. So it's a matter of going there and then changing uh, the URI to the correct address. So let's go into Azure DevOps Server. And under the pipeline, my Wolf app ASP.NET Core CI, I have this published to ECR task where I'm first going to log in into the ECR repository using this command. As you can see, I'm logging into the app Southeast 2 because my ECR repository in Sydney region. If you are executing this lab in a different environment uh, or different region, you may need to change this one to the suitable region. The first step I'm going to do is to tag my local image which is going to be my Wolf app release with the name of the repository. Uh, how do I know the name of the local image as my Wolf app release? You can find it from Docker uh, build Docker image task. Here you can find that I'm executing a task called Docker build dot, and I tag that image as my Wolf app release. When I call Docker build dot, the Docker build use the current location to find the Docker file. So this is the working folder. And if you go to your repository, you can find that under files. Under the root of that, you have a file called Docker file that describes what the application is going to be, or what base image it's going to use. So in this case, I'm going to base this Docker image out of Microsoft.NET uh, 2.2 ASP.NET Core runtime. And then I'm going to build the web application, set what ports to expose, uh, copy the build artifacts into the, uh, uh, the, the website uh, location, and then finally set the entry point as .NET MyWolfApp DLL. So we pass this Docker file as an input into Docker build. That's what we do in this Docker build image task. So I'm going to build the image with my Wolf app release. So this will create uh, an image called my Wolf app release in the built agent. Remember when we created our Linux instance, we gave it enough space so that it can keep multiple images. And that's why, uh, that's where uh, this image is going to get created. So we have this image on the local built agent. And then the next thing is to publish into ECR. So I log in, I tag that my Wolf app release image as uh, the full URL of the built um, my repository. So in this case, it's going to be 
the repository URL copied from uh, the newly created uh, repository. You can take it uh, back here. And uh, for the tag, I use build number and build source version. So when I look at the repository, I can then pinpoint which build number and which JIT uh, change set end up creating that image. I then tag my wolf app release again with the same URI, but I give a tag called latest. So this is to identify which one is the latest version. And then I'm going to push the image. So this is the URI I copied before. And I publish with the uh, build number and the source version. And I'm going to push the latest version as well. If ECR already identifies that there are some layers already existing, it's not going to publish them. So the first publication is going to be a bit slow, but the subsequent publication is going to be fast because it, you only publish the delta changes. So far, so good. So let's uh, try to uh, save this pipeline and then queue a new build and then see uh, how it's going to work. So I save the pipeline. But to publish this image, the built agent has to have permissions to execute that. Either you can get uh, these temporary credentials from here and then uh, using the AWS CLI commands access the Amazon ECR. That's one method. Alternatively, you can uh, attach the permission to the built agent, uh, which is the ECR approach that I'm going to follow now. So go to uh, EC2 section. So back in my uh, build Linux machine, we know that this is the machine that's going to build and release the software. Because we don't pass the uh, credentials as temporary credentials into my script, we need to give permissions to this build machine to publish that image. So select that build machine and then go to the IEM section of that uh, build machine. So let's go to the role. So if you don't have any permissions attached to this, we need to grant permissions to publish to Amazon ECR. So go to attach policies. And then search for the managed policy called Amazon EC2 container registry full access. Now this grant permissions to the entire Amazon Elastic Container Registry. Maybe what you want to do is to grant access to a specific given repository. In that case, you can always create a customer managed policy with fine grained principles or permissions uh, to give access to only to a specific repository. So I'm fine with this managed policy for this lab exercise um, and then attach it. So our build agent now have access to this ECR uh, repository. So let's now execute the pipeline and then see whether our image get published. So back in the pipeline, uh, seems like I'm in good shape. So make sure that you change this uh, Amazon ECR get login to point it to the correct region. So if you are running this one in a different region, so right now I'm running this uh, lab environment in Sydney region and that's why I pass this one as app southeast 2. So you need to log in into the correct repository in the correct region. And then I already changed these numbers to point into my correct repository. So let's queue this build. Use AWS build pool Linux pool. So the build is in queue. So let's see what happens. So like before it's going to uh, get the uh, source code, build the .NET Core web application, uh, then run some test cases if you have it, publish into a, a web deployment kind of a package, and then it's publishing into uh, Amazon ECR. So you can find that uh, it's publishing uh, the image. Uh, if you do it for the first time, it's going to publish uh, all the layers, but in the subsequent push, uh, you are not going to publish the existing layers. So right now it uh, already published the image and then it failed at Amazon ECS service. So let's uh, go into our Amazon ECR and then explore whether we have, uh, whether we got that image published correctly. And uh, if that image is in the correct shape, uh, 
we are going to then uh, fix this error where we are going to create an Amazon ECS service. So let's check whether the image is in good shape. So back in AWS console, go to ECR, Elastic Container Registry, go to repositories, I have my Wolf app. So you can find that the image is now published. The latest version is here. And this build ID and this uh, the subsequent ID points into the correct build number. So for example, uh, if I go into my uh, build that I just executed, uh, the build number is this one, 2019-03-21-2. So you have that ID here, and this is the change set in the JIT repository. So I can now say that this image got created as part of this build execution. So in the next section, what we are going to do is to use this image and then create a cluster, create a task definition, and then run this image in that cluster. So let's see how we can do that.